The aquatic stabilizer apparatus is the first aquatic-based orthotic device to be used exclusively within a pool setting in aquatic therapy. It was developed by a board-certified pediatric occupational therapist that was trying to address the need of bilateral lower extremity hypertonicity, specifically in adductors of patients with cerebral palsy. The device itself is constructed of industrial plastic, aluminum alloy, neoprene, and a padding which does not allow the retention of water. The combination of materials creates a neutral buoyancy. In other words, not so light as to allow a patient to float, but not too heavy as to allow them to sink. Despite the fact that the unit itself weighs approximately over six pounds, the device will actually float in water. Some of the main features of this device which make it so unique, not only in its construction of materials, but also the fact that it has a handle on the back. The handle allows a therapist to be able to control the patient much better in the water with usually one hand. The device also is composed of modular components which can be easily changed out. The device, as it appears right here, can actually telescope out to adjust to almost any leg length. For any kind of discrepancies and a more specific adjustment, there's little adjuster knobs here that allow you to remove the leg pad component and place it as you need it to adjust for the patient's length. The device also has a unique strengthening device that is built into the hip. This will allow a therapist to increase the amount of resistance above that that's usually received in water to allow for greater strengthening of the target muscles. The device also has the ability with this knob here to adjust for abduction and adduction and basically it can be specifically adjusted to accommodate any leg length, hip dysplasia or any kind of orthopedic needs in the child, adolescent or adult's legs that use it. The device itself is very lightweight, it is very user friendly. In fact, the modular components and adjustments of it can be done without any special tools and can be done by a therapist, orthotist, or even the parent or caregiver of the child. Allison is a young girl with cerebral palsy with symptoms resembling spastic diplegia. Her physical therapist, Lori, wanted something to reduce the amount of scissoring she does during gait, as you can see here in the video. Soon in a moment, she will apply the aquatic stabilizer apparatus, and you will see the difference in how she is able to walk not only in water, but also to use her limbs effectively within it. Joshua is an adolescent with cerebral palsy, specifically quadriplegic CP. He requires maximal assistance within the water. As you can see now with the aquatic stabilizer apparatus, his therapist, Mary Lou, is able to control him with just one hand and is able actually to allow him to swim independently within the water while wearing it. Look at that. 
One leg at a time, just your left. That's, oh, that's yeah, your left. Cool. Right. And your right. Oh, that's a good kick with your right. Okay, how about your left again? Oh, nice job. How about your right? Try again. And he's moving his arms too. It's so yeah. cool. You know what? His arms are a lot more relaxed in this. Do you notice? I think it's helping give him a little bit of buoyancy. Um, so he's much more relaxed. He's not holding on to the neck collar. He's not. The aquatic stabilizer apparatus is able to be applied to any patient on land or in the water, as you see Nancy, the physical therapist, doing to Justin. Justin is a unique case. He not only has quadriplegic cerebral palsy and congenital hydrocephalus, but he is at this time status post right hip osteotomy. The recommendation of a surgical team is that he not be allowed to adduct his hips more than 20 degrees. The aquatic stabilizer apparatus was chosen for him by his rehab team to facilitate his aquatic therapy in the pool and to maintain his hip per surgical recommendation. In this scene, Nancy is able to control him very well without a maximal assist as he previously needed with his aquatic therapy. As you can see, she is able to focus on specific joints and movement while Justin is free to float in the water on his own.